catching the tax. And I still walked up. We still walked up. We gonna be here. I don't care where I have to park. I'm still gonna show up. They have loved ones. They have family. Just like you. They care about them. Absolutely. I would hope that y'all would have somebody that cared enough about y'all. That'd come out here for y'all if y'all was in these conditions. We marched to repeal the death penalty in 2016. We was marching for two years to get that done. From 2014, Delaware repeal went down to Dover. We here at James T. Vaughn because y'all killing people. Attorney General Kathy Jennings. You killing people? Right, we're not That's why we here. Out here. I'm sorry. It's not on them. Let them know. You're putting them in harm's way. Your people. You're putting these officers in harm's way. They could be in better conditions. I know some of them that want to speak up. I know it is. So guess what? I'm gonna say this. We're speaking for y'all too. We're speaking for you too. Better conditions. Better Stop medical the cruel treatment. and unusual punishment. Reply in the dental hall slips. Treat these people like the people they are. Sick call slips. Grievous slips. Kathy D. Mateus. At least they can get us healthy food. John Cardi. Bethany Hall Long. Whoever told y'all my name when I came up. We need for the Attorney General Kathy Jennings to fold down the sentences of all the men, women, and adolescents that are on pretrial right now. Pretrial, haven't even been proven guilty. All thousand of those people that are locked up that haven't been proven guilty around the state need to come home. Everybody that has short time, everybody that only got six months left, Five months left, four months left. Less than that needs to come home. Everybody that's not a threat to the public. Everybody that's nonviolent. Everybody that's reformed. People holding down jobs inside, cleaning their chairs every day, trying to. But ain't provided with everything that it is that they need to keep things sanitary. Can't even get hand sanitizer because it got alcohol in it off the commissary. Can't get soap. Gotta pay more for soap than we gotta pay for in the public. It's unjust. It's unfair, it's cruel, it's unusual. It's against the Eighth Amendment that applies to all people, says this Constitution, says the Bill of Rights. Applies to all people. Criminal, felon, Offender, whatever it is that you want to mislabel us, prisoners, we are free today. It's 2021 and y'all need to decarcerate Delaware, this whole state. Everybody needs to come home that's not a threat to the public. Because you're killing people. And the death penalty is unconstitutional here. It should be unconstitutional everywhere. I don't believe that the Bible says that thou shalt not kill except for the state of Delaware. I don't believe that that's what my Bible says. I don't think that that's what it says. Right now, y'all executing people. My sister Luis Shelton got brothers. And a son. And a son. My brother down here. He got the COVID because the guard wouldn't wear some masks. He said he needed some help because he had a little shortness of breath, a little tightness in the chest. They told him, let's see how the weekend goes. Looks like you to be seen on Monday. And had to rush him up out of here to Ken General on Saturday. Y'all ain't going to treat him right, send him home. By the grace of God, he's still living. Only by his grace. And by his grace, we're going to be here as many times as we have to. Until we affect some change. We got to get them out. We got to get them out. We're going to continue to be here. We're going to continue to stand. 
This ain't a question of what it what it is. What it, we gonna be here. Y'all gotta be here too. I know that y'all go to jail every day. I know that y'all gotta do overtime because y'all don't got enough employees. Y'all don't got enough personnel. Three different eight hour shifts. I know that. And y'all at risk. Just like they at risk. Y'all gotta wear these masks. Just like we all gotta wear these masks. But if they don't get provided to them, they don't deserve to get 23 and one. They don't deserve to get sent to the hole just because they asking for masks. These are the stories that we hear from inside. They not being provided with what it is that they need. And they being housed four to a cell, three to a cell, in the gymnasium. I heard that Howard R. Young, Gander Hill, brought 60 people a couple weekends ago, or last weekend. Right before this man died last week. 60 people that had the virus. See these guards over here? I want you to see them. These are right here. Nobody's threatening you. This is a conversation. Nobody's threatening you. This is a conversation. It's a little dialogue, fellas. Little conversation dialogue. won't hurt you. Conversation won't hurt you. That's the problem. Nobody wants to dialogue about the whole But that's because you don't have a good enough excuse. I'm sure there's nothing to say because you know we're right. This is wrong. And I know not all of you agree with it. They just the arms of it. It's not even your fault. Mm. Y'all probably came in with good, with good, uh, good, good intentions. Nobody's out here threatening you. This is just a human being who cares about their family members who are human beings. He made an attempt to have a conversation. You treat him like he's been threatening. He didn't do anything. It's nothing wrong with a conversation. But I get it, if you don't have a good enough excuse, I understand. You just proved us right. Y'all know these are poor conditions. You know it's not right. Y'all might not want to stand for them, but y'all have to be in there with those same conditions. You might want to stand for yourselves. We're not doing nothing wrong out here. We're asking y'all to do what y'all what y'all claim to do. Simply asking you to do your job. You're a correctional officer. Nothing's being corrected. You weren't hired to be a a, 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 um, a guard and stand around and be a gatekeeper and just watch and do nothing. You wasn't hired to affect people. I went to talk to those guards because they was up there giggling. Like, this is funny. Ain't nothing funny about this. Because and I'm sorry if I came off as threatening. I'm sorry if I came off as threatening. I never had a cold one against me when I was locked up. I never hit one of y'all. If you don't know what a cold one is, that's what they call it when you hit a guard. It's the most important thing. That's cold one. Not somebody dying. That's somebody that's a victim. That's somebody committing suicide. I think that was code six or something like that. Right now, y'all executing people in their cells. But it ain't just here at all. That's why we going to Gander Hill now. We appreciate y'all for y'all service. God bless you. Have Let's a blessed one. What time is it? There you go.